Welcome, friends. Throughout Shakespeare's play, Two Gentlemen of Verona, there are many references to mythology. These references explain the deeper meaning of character struggles with love throughout the story. The mythological references in the play come from Greek and Roman mythology, which were common stories for the nobility, nobility and laymen in Shakespeare's time. Our first inference is that Shakespeare uses mythological references in Two Gentlemen of Verona to demonstrate the great sacrifice that people make for love. Many are used as analogies to explain love's complex interactions and personal sacrifices that are necessary to make love work. would be in the references to Leander swimming in a house pond in Act 1. Leander swam the house pond to get to his love, but drowned. This is an example of the sacrifice made for love. Valentine also says that, and yet you have never swam the house pond. In this instance, Valentine is telling Proteus that his love for Julia cannot be true because he has never made a sacrifice for her. Shakespeare references love, or Cupid, the Roman god of love, throughout the play. The references of a god establish the idea that love is something that is completely out of human control. This can be seen in the first act when Valentine says, Love is your master, for he masters you. Love is directly referenced as a master here. In another instance, love is indirectly referred to as a god when Proteus prays, Love, lend me, lend me wings to make my purpose swift. Because love is referred to as a god, it reinforces the idea that it is something that is totally uncontrolled by human standards. Love has the power to give things and also take them away. This isn't the only reference to love as a god. Valentine is referred to as Love's firm votary in Act 3, Scene 2. A votary is someone who is bound by religious vows to a god or a pursuit. These two mythological inferences demonstrate Shakespeare's thought on love and helps characterize the character's struggles within the play. Thank you for joining us today. To you, a thousand good morrows.